Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Tropicana Island. I'm back on Tropicana Island for you today guys, temporarily. I know I'm doing the center, I am doing the server and everything for you guys, but I'm just on Tropicana Island today because I'm going to, going to be doing a few episodes on here just get like showing you all the new creatures out on arc like the dire bear the lostosaurus whatever that's called the um pleura creature uh saber tooth salmon all of those there's a shit ton of them to get through this is the first one i'm going to be going and trying to tame and find one of them things which i found at the like when i was randomly recording the video on the center um from, i don't know what they're actually called but i tamed one i'm going to be doing a more in-depth review and see what they look like in their natural habitat also um Com regarding the competition, thank you all so much for your entries and likes and everything. Next Saturday, so Saturday from when I'm recording this video, I'll be, Grandad Ginger will hopefully be here and we'll be pulling the names out of the hat. I might even feel generous and I might even make it so three lucky winners can do it instead of two. Or maybe four or five. See, so yeah, I'm going to get out of here before a raptor attacks me. If you're excited for that, leave a like on this video and comment down below what you think about the, um like the new creatures so far and stuff like that. One moment guys, be up beat. And back. Sorry, my computer just decided to stall on me and I saved it before it did it. Um, so let me quickly kill this old Argentat. My quetzal's too quick. That's literally ridiculous how quick this thing is. So we're looking for the Lystorus, whatever it's called. I can't say because I don't actually know. I haven't got the name in front of me. I don't actually know what they, like, what they're actually called. Um, okay, so we're near... Where even are we? Okay, my base is here then. Um, so I'm going to be looking around and seeing if we can see anything, there's a load of dodos, anything which looks like one of these creatures. Um, I've heard they go around in groups, but that I'm unsure about. They go up and down the shore. I have seen a few um, dotted around when I've been playing on this server, but I can't actually see any at the moment. Is this one? No. Fair enough. Uh, the Dilo will kill that, and the Compi... It doesn't look like there's none up here. Uh, oh, I think we've found one. We've found one. Let me get off the quest. Well, there's definitely one there. Might even be three or four around this area because they do normally come around in like pairs and groups. Um, where have you gone? Where's it gone? I'm staring at it. It's, it's only level eight. It's a male Lystrosaurus. Now these things are cool. Literally like a from Komodo, from dragon, like sort of thing. They look like a lizard sort of thing. And they're like the friendliest herbivore you'll ever see. It's got some cool, like, little animations, how it eats and stuff. And I'm not entirely sure what this thing actually does, so let me just get some berries, because I know it's a passive tame. So it's a passive tame, so let me get some berries. We'll change to that in a minute, we'll just get some berries. Okay, so as you can tell, the server is ridiculously high. Um, so we'll get... Uh, we'll just do Mijo Berries. It should only take one or two. Um, just to tame this thing. So as you can see, it says Feed Wider Tame. And we're tamed it already. The Lystrosaurus. Um, it's a small herbivore. Common too much of the island. Okay. Um, com it's common to much of the island. So you will see these sort of things a lot. Only about two feet long. It is not high on the food chain. So And it eats small plant life. The poisonous insects of the island seem to have a little effect on this. Okay, so that's quite cool. So they're like the little um, Titana soldiers and the um, I can't remember what they're called. The other the fucking mosquito thing things. They seem to do nothing really to this. Despite being among the among the islands tiny herbivores, Lystrosaurus is an incredibly resistant survivor. It recovers its torpor. That is also a really cool feature to this thing. And health much faster than most creatures, which makes rent like uh, rendering a listener unconscious a rather difficult thing. Okay, so knocking one of these things out is actually going to be quite difficult. Um, domesticated, not surprisingly, um, so it's an extremely loyal pet once tamed. It's a very fast learner, so it gains XP much more quicker than most other creatures. Additionally, its pleasure presence nearby appears to inspire allies, making them learn and gain experience more rapidly as well. Um, Okay, so this thing is actually a, a really handy thing to tame if you're on an official server, definitely. I'm not at the moment on this video. I'm on the normal little old server. But this, it says tamed at level 11. The, it boosts your XP when you've got one of these following you. And I heard you can pet it. <laughs> That's quite cute, I must admit. Um, 
Oh, that must mean you get an XP boost when you do that, okay. Um, we'll, put, we'll put it to neutral. We'll put it to passive so it don't go attack anyone. Um, so is there like... There's not... Is there any options like to... Um, uh, I thought there was like an option to make it dance and stuff. Oh! Well, that, um. did not go according to plan. I just one punched the thing. So now we need to find another one. Uh, this Quetzal, my fist, is just ridiculous. Let me kill them flies as well. Can't this Quetzal just too quick? It's annoying as hell. Having this thing so quick. Um. Okay, so kill the pass. Okay. Um. So let's just. I know I can't fucking punch these fucking things. Uh, oh, there's another one. Okay, what level are you, kind sir? Keep that away from my Quetzal. It's a level 44. So that's also one tame with a Meijer. I'm just going to call it Test. Let's call it Testy. Oh, yeah, Testy. I can Testy. Pet it. Does it do the same thing? Okay, it does the same thing. Um, I'm sure there was like a way to... Um, like, do different things to it, aren't there? Um... I know there's, like, other things it does, but I don't know what it does. Maybe you gotta, like, um... Get some XP off stuff. Maybe if I kill this, um, Dodigrus, I'll get... Will this kill it? This is going to take an absolute century to kill this thing, so there's no point. So let me just kill something stupid. Um... Oh, the Dodix is running. There you go. It didn't level up. I'm honestly really, 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 really confused on what this um, thing does. If I'm honest, but it's a really cool thing, and you can do it like more in moats at like fucking dancers and backflips and shit like that. Um, it's a cool addition, I like it. I don't think I'll be taming one unless I'm just going to be no life in the swamp at a low level for XP because they are handy and they are really resilient. So that means that they are going to be like really OP to take to the swamps to gain XP because the bugs are not going to do much to this. Um, so, and the stats. Health's quite low when you tame them. Stamina's decent. Um, melee damage is really seem to be quite hot. Obviously, this is boosted. And movement speed is going to be quite high as well. So, these things overall are pretty awesome. And they're not actually a bad thing to tame, I suppose. Um, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Tell all your friends about the channel. We're now at 2K! 2K subscribers in the JK Army. Thank you so much for watching this video and I shall see you all in the next one. Take it easy and adios amigos. Eyes in the sky.